something. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and soul. You wish, to, you wish to register it to the compendium? There is an alarm in effect. Prepare for the unexpected! A group will be executed. That's a pretty strong one. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. You seek power beyond your limits. Choose which skills to inherit. This could bestow an extraordinary power. Be reborn. is an alarm fusion. Begin searching. That's a pretty strong one. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. You're stopping? Today, we will hang them more forcefully. All right, let's hang them! This will arise. May your powers become one.
Well now, a most unexpected turn of events. Do you need something? You'd like to read the compendium registration? Are you sure? These are the paths you have walked. Is a fee is required? This is your new lack patience. Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform an fusion? Gather them. What path do you want? Looks pretty tough. Looks pretty tough. Looks pretty tough. Looks pretty tough. Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. You okay with this? Looks pretty tough. Great things are possible. Do you wish a fusion greater than your own power? Finished. What? No slacking off. The hell is this? It's huge. I didn't realize such a gigantic place existed here. Is this where everyone's treasure is held? Yeah, that should be the case. But this ominously bizarre air about it. It almost feels like a temple of sorts. Although... Look, th there's no point freaking out now. Come on, let's go.
Are these all prison cells? And what's that thing in the middle? Whatever it is, it looks disgustingly grand. There are no other passages leading out of this room. It appears this is our final destination. The depths of Mementos. In that case, is the treasure of Mementos somewhere in here? I think you're right. I've never been here, but I can sense it. There's no mistaking that presence. If we get rid of it... <sighs> if we get rid of it, the public should come to its senses. But something that large will be impossible to carry out of here. We just gotta make it disappear, right? If we can't move it, then we'll just have to destroy it. Yeah, that will work. Once we do that, the entire metaverse is going to disappear, right? This is finally it. Oh, I guess it's no surprise we've been discovered. That thing isn't gonna sit back and let itself get destroyed. Even the inmates are starting to liven up. How eerie. Are they planning something? That must mean this thing's gotta be the treasure. It saved us the trouble of checking. Hold on. Something's off. Shido said the masses are allowing themselves to be held captive here. Could they truly be operating this gigantic system that eliminates intruders on its own? The prison guards and soldiers were very organized, too. Are you trying to say that someone else rules this place? Is it not the public? <laughs> what was that? We don't have time to worry about that. Leave it for later. All right, guys. We better not lose now. Let's hurry up and destroy this thing. Everyone, give it your all. All right, let's do it. Come. All right. Persona! There we go! Me. Are the 
inmates giving it their strength? Damn it! This is never gonna end! It seems hopeless if there are this many inmates supporting it. You fools. Human, yet wishing to eradicate the desires of humanity. Who's that? Repent! The treasure's talking! I am revered as the granter of dreams for all who behold me. A being most commonly known as the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. The prison of regression is representative of the collective desires of humanity. They wish to be chained down, surrender their cognition, and neglect the world around them. These feeble-minded common folk will make your social reform all for naught. The shared heart of the masses has fallen into an excess of indolence and transformed into a prison. in that thing. Thus, the only suitable end for them is to perish within the prison they wished for themselves. Get ready. Here it comes. Hell yeah! That thing heals, its color changes. Persona! Black Frost! Red 
Savage Tap! Whoopin' Persona! Let's go. Die! When was wrong, this is our holy ground. Gotta clear my head. Wait, hold up! It's gonna get totally healed again! No fair! This is cheating! Stop that, you thieves! If this is really how people feel, there's no way we'll be able to steal their hearts. We've come here for nothing. This is horrible! You imbeciles are intoxicated by an undesired justice. This is the will of the children of man who have fallen into sloth. My shine is proof that they desire my existence. As long as humanity yearns for me, I shall never perish. Is this really what everyone wants? Stop thinking and be guided by the Holy Grail? Frustrating. It makes me want to cry. But I... I will never agree. The humans I look up to aren't like that. No matter how painful reality is, it's all over if you don't try to change how things are. I'm not the only one who believes that. Everyone here agrees. We don't want to turn back into the people we used to be. That's why we risked our lives coming here. Mona-chan! He's right. Humanity already wishes for their distortions to be actualized. I am merely the being that will ultimately grant those wishes. Now, it is time I refrain from my place in this world and begin to encroach upon reality itself. That's a load of shit! Encroach? What is it gonna do? Hey, this doesn't look good! I've got a bad feeling about this. Mona, what should we do? I don't know what you are, but you can't keep arbitrarily deciding all this on your own. Humans aren't all stupid like you say they are! Hmm. Indolent, foolish humans. You shall offer your hearts to me. Now, the time for the fusion has come. Hey, the grounds! It's vanishing? Hell no! I remember everything now. Ow! Is everyone okay? Uh, of course we are. Oh, hey, our clothes are back to normal. Look! Huh? Shibuya? We're back. We didn't come back ourselves, though. We must have been driven out by the Holy Grail. Did we lose? I know that, but... Huh? Here 
in Shibuya? Is this what it meant by the fusion? Be shitting me. Huh? What is this, a dream? Huh? <laughs> the hell is this? What's going on? Kauru. Kauru! For real? What on earth? This is impossible. Why doesn't anyone notice this? Damn, looks like I should take this seriously. Huh? No way! Wait, what the... What's this pink stuff? to the world. Hmm? What's going on here? What the hell's happening here? I can't believe this. Why is everyone acting normal? Don't they see this? I hope those kids are safe. Unbelievable. This isn't a world inside a game, right? Everyone else isn't seeing this? Man, what great weather. Want to go for a drive? Hello. Yes, it's about tomorrow's preliminary meeting. Uh, the announcement for the new smartphones tonight. What were the Phantom Thieves all about anyway? Oh, man. Hearing that brings back memories. I feel so dumb for even believing they existed. It was fun news, though. Well, I doubt anyone believes they're around anymore. Why isn't anyone noticing this abnormality? It's probably because they don't feel that it's odd. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I feel woozy. <sighs> Futaba, grab on! Anton? Is this by the Holy Grail, too? That son of a bitch! God damn it! What's this creepy-ass shit about? Ah! Disappear from the people's cognition. That damn voice! Mementos and reality have become one. The stones who have disappeared from cognition cannot exist anywhere. Disappear my ass! What the hell? <laughs> Is this really it? No! Morgana, where did we go wrong? Is this all my fault? 
Because I brought you all there? I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. The mission's a failure. In the end, your rehabilitation was not carried through. It appears I have overestimated you. <laughs> you incompetent prisoner! The assistance that we provided was all for naught. Humans are more apathetic and more foolish than I had thought them to be. The world will soon see its ruin. You have lost the game. You were meant to bring change to mankind as a trickster. But it seems that was too much for you. In accordance to the game's rules, the defeated must pay a price. Your life is forfeit. I sentence you to be executed. <gasps> executed? God's decree is absolute. My experiment has come to naught. Everything is over. Grant that man a swift death. If that's what our master wishes. It, it just means that you weren't an upstanding prisoner that may be true but what is the matter carry out his sentence at once are we really going to kill him don't falter now it's all his fault for losing the game all right inmate we now proceed to the execution of your sentence. How insolent! To think you'd still show your rebellious will after all that! Ready, Justine? If our master orders so, then it cannot be helped. Let us show our strength to this prisoner who just doesn't know when to give up. Understood. Death to the criminal. Don't resist, inmate. Just accept your sentence. One's final moments should be spent in good grace. How's this? Take this. This power. Caroline, it's as I thought. What's the matter? I told you not to falter. Are you going against our master's orders? Eat this! Here goes. No, this isn't right. Our duty isn't to kill him. Caroline! What gives? Why am I doubting myself? Is there another duty left to us?
I believe I ordered his execution. Uh. Uh. Master, have you forsaken humanity? We are wardens, those who rehabilitate prisoners. What? Something speaks to me in my mind. Our true duty is not to kill. How... We are not executioners. That is the truth we had forgotten. We've decided. We will not forsake humanity. <laughs> Your right eye... ...and my left. It's as if they're the same... ...yet mirrored. to be realized. I finally remember how we were torn apart. We were originally one. Yet we were torn asunder into halves by malevolent intent. <laughs> So we were captives, same as you. Ha! <laughs> to think we'd learn that truth from a prisoner. Let us reclaim our true form. Hey! We'll give you your last job. Be thankful and obey! You must fuse us together with your own hands. It's time you return the favor for us assisting with your growth. Do it with care! Now! Fuse us! My name is Lavenza. I was torn apart by a malevolent will and took the form of those twins. I sought help before my body was split in two. If we lose you, the path to the Holy Grail will forever be closed. That's why you must recall the truth once more. And I beg of you, please, Save us. I believed in you. I knew that you would make it thus far. And to the scoundrel who has swindled my master's name, your lies shall work no longer now that my sight has been restored. The game isn't over yet. Whether the human world is left as is, or destroyed and rebuilt, it is all sport to me. Be careful. If I were to put it into words that you can comprehend, I am the Holy Grail that grants wishes. No. It may be more accurate to say that I am a god who responds to desire and holds dominion over man. I 
hope seeing the righteous need vanquish evil would spur mankind to change their own indolent hearts. However, the result is, as you know, the masses have made it so none of it has transpired. Humans should be met with ruin. You brought forth that answer. But to be frank, inmate, I believe it may be worth re-evaluating you. A human has reached the Holy Grail and has seen through my true identity. You've surprised the god that I am often enough. That cannot be done by a foolish commoner. You truly were a prisoner that did not bore me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the fool, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Perhaps observing you a while longer may prove amusing. I shall grant you an opportunity to make a deal with me. Should you wish it, I shall return the world to its prior state, one rampant with distorted masses. You forcefully dragged him into the Metaverse and imposed an ordeal he did not deserve. Yet you still intend on toying with him? The Phantom Thieves will be praised and gain fame. The world will escape ruin as well. What say you? Well said. Such irredeemable foolishness. You choose death for yourself. Very well. I have no need for you. It's been quite a while since I last stepped foot in this place. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. He is the rightful master of this Velvet Room, the true aid on your journey. It may be difficult for you to understand this all at once. If I were to summarize this, the fake has left, and the real has returned. Indeed. My master has returned, and you won against that malevolent god's temptation. Thus, you may be able to save this world that is headed towards certain ruin. However, it will prove difficult to win against him with your power alone. You must release your teammates, with whom you've shared your conviction. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. They have not necessarily expired yet. Just as you were trapped here, they should be confined somewhere as well. Since you've deepened your bond with them, I am certain you can release them. Once they, the Phantom Thieves, are all gathered here, we will tell you everything. Now go forth, to the people whom you should be facing the truth with.
Joker, what a relief. You're safe. I'm not sure what happened, but we seem to be alive. By the way, why have you remained in your Phantom Thief attire while I'm back in regular clothes? Could this mean that the will of rebellion is no longer within me? <laughs> that may be true. We have to fight that Holy Grail again, correct? Could you imagine defeating it, Joker? That monster has the support of the masses. And with it, nearly an infinite amount of power. I... No matter which way I approach the subject in my head, nothing points to our victory. I think I finally... genuinely understand the pain my father and my sister were burdened with. Victory against a single criminal is meaningless. The true enemy is society itself. And even against that foe, you still have to try to somehow emerge victorious. I don't know what to do. Believe in myself? <laughs> you got me. Regardless, this isn't a situation with a straightforward answer. But even if there is no clear solution, I'll just have to make one with my own two hands. Before you guys came along, my life was defined by rules, set on a path of someone else's choosing. But only a true loser would live such a rigid life. I... I will win. Even if it means going up against the entire world. I'm okay. My resolve was shaken, but... It's stronger now. I want the people of the world to see what you've shown me. Right. Thank you. Having teammates you can trust is a great feeling. Shall we go? We can't let our last big job end in failure. Hey. I see. Yes. Joker. As I expected, you appear to be safe. However, where exactly are we? Velvet Room? I'm not sure I understand. At first, I was surprised to see the masses chained in a prison. Yet, here I am as well, considering the state of the real world. It is hard to say that we were even remotely helpful. This situation... Can we truly handle such horrid circumstances? All the Phantom Thieves can do is change the hearts of others. However... The world outside has become a veritable hell. Nothing within our power can fix that. I'm merely acknowledging how powerless I am. The people of this world desired their enslavement, and that isn't all. They screamed at us for attacking the Holy Grail, defended it. Even the criminals whose hearts we changed became meek followers of the Holy Grail because of us. Were we truly that foolish? Risking our lives for a result nobody desired. I... That's right. It wasn't just for recognition from those we were helping. My purpose lies elsewhere. When we first met, 
You continued to impose yourselves on me, no matter how much I pushed you away. I will forever treasure what you did for me. Very well. Just as art is meant to break boundaries, people should be saved even if they frown upon it. I won't allow the justice I believe in to be shaken any further. Allow me to thank you, Joker. Being by your side truly gives rise to the greatest ideas. Ah, yes. We cannot afford to leave reality in the hellish state it's currently in. I will make use of my role as an artist and paint over the distortions of society. Well then, time to go and see this through. I'll witness with my own two eyes that this world isn't bound by some holy grail. Well then, we will be counting on you. Yo, looks like we're both somehow still alive and kicking, but where at? Huh? Velvet? Man, this prison cell kind of makes me think of when we first met. I remember how Shibuya was all effed up just now, but like, nobody was seeing any of it. No, it was more like they didn't want to see any of it. What the hell? So, even all them people who are suffering and cheering for us to come and help them, in reality, they would have rather just had everything stay how it was? Did what we were doing have any meaning at all? <laughs> You're so freaking tough. You know, back when I thought we were gonna die, Without learning the truth about all this, I kind of felt for the first time that maybe we hadn't been doing the right thing. That maybe we deserved to lose. You get me? Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I started all this because of how pissed off I was. Maybe it's never been about winning or anything like that. Maybe all I was doing was just continuing my own defiance. Uh. <laughs> You're right. I get it now. We're doing this to make sure people don't gotta go through the same crap we did. It doesn't matter if they think we're just or not. We gotta do what we believe in. <laughs> it's not like people think much of me anyways. I'm gonna dash through this the only way I know how. You got me out of prison, just like before. Thanks. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to say this, but uh, I'm really glad I met you. All right, I'm done getting my ass kicked. That shiny bastard acts like it's some kind of god. I ain't gonna feel good till we deal with it. Let's head out. We're gonna take down that asshole, yeah? Hey. We'll be counting on you. Oh, Joker. I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. And you even managed to get out of your cell by yourself. Impressive, as always. Shibuya, what happened? And where are we? Velvet Room? That name sounds pretty kick-ass. <sighs> I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? 
I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. But even that would be tough now. Giving up would be too painful. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened, but I can't... I can't let people suffer like this. Even if I don't know them personally. Grown? Honestly, this all seems like a bit too much. But... But... I... You're right. My heart has been set from the start. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle. But I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet. You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Anyway, we're going up against a god. I couldn't even leave my own room before. But now, we're gonna beat a god! I'm so pumped! And wait a sec. I just noticed I got out of here on my own. Ta-da! A real jailbreak! Oh, you're quick to act. That's what makes you dependable. All right, time to get back at it. Hey, hey. Yep. me on top of that you really are an amazing person joker considering everything that has happened to the city i wonder if the citizenry is okay although it seemed like we were the only ones able to see it you know the moment i disappeared i honestly thought i was about to die but part of me wasn't afraid i knew that was all i could do and looked forward to apologizing to father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed, but I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. Joker! You're the reason why I'm not alone right now. It's all thanks to you. I'm sorry. I almost lost my way again. Even if there are times where I think there's nothing I can do, I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now. Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. 
We haven't lost yet. Um... Um... Oh, Joker. Thank goodness you're safe. You sure are impressive. Huh. So, I'm not in heaven after all. That means the hell that Shibuya turned into was all real. <sighs> I'm so weak. When I thought I was gonna die, I... started trembling. I was just so scared. At that moment, nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. Joker, you kept going even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. That's... You're right. I can never abandon her. If I whine like this now, I'd just be betraying Shiho. No. I'd be betraying myself. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it. Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. Gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thief's name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! Oh! What is this place? Who are they? My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned. Though it may be presumptuous of me, I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? He's right over there. That's where you were hiding? I... was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, 
My master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I... um... don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but... Are you implying that it isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of Mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wish to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi, incited the masses' distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was him. If he won, the human world would be left as is. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. That malevolent being knew that a revolution would not occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses' distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential, which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair, using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the Phantom Thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. Only you can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure jerk for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. Our mutual friend knows where the exit is. Morgana, please guide them and thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me! Joker! This way! Shibuya again? Oh, right. This is where we were when our bodies disappeared. Seems like people still haven't realized that this abnormality has taken over the city. Look, the door we just came through. If I remember correctly, this is that quarantine cell. 
That's right. It was actually the Velvet Room, which had been swallowed by the distortions. You did say you were born in there. It makes so much sense now. Wait, so if we came out of there, does that mean we're the criminals? No, it's more like him, since he was kept in here. Most likely, Joker had been under the malicious guidance of the evil god for quite some time. The Velvet Room originally existed to nurture the human mind. But after it was taken over, it was sealed inside that bastard's nest. Inside Mementos. Uh, Mona? More importantly... You're shining. It's probably because my memories have returned. I know what my duty is now. Uh, <clears throat> whoa. Do you see something? Shining? Wait a sec, what, what's with those weirdly dressed guys? I feel like I've seen those costumes before. Oh, aren't they the Phantom Thieves? I kind of remember seeing a silhouette of them on a jumbo screen in the city. The Phantom Thieves? Oh yeah, that's right, I, I completely forgot about them. This is different from how it was before. Do they see us? It doesn't seem to be everyone, though. Only a handful of people in this large crowd. Maybe it's Cousin Mona's light. Either way, they remember the Phantom Thieves! Oh, the key of hope. Mona, guide us. Where must we go? Over there. The bastard from earlier should be in that temple. <laughs> 